Hey guys, welcome and happy Fragrance Friday. So today we are going to go over all the fragrance mists and lotions or body creams that I have used throughout the week. And we are going to actually start with last Friday and then go up through Thursday, which was yesterday. And then um, if you're actually interested in what I'm wearing today, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I will go ahead and put my handle right here so you guys can find me over there. I try to post my scent of the day every single day over there. And if I do like get off by a couple days, I always catch up and post my scents of the day. So you can always figure out what I'm wearing over there. I would also love to know your scent of the day. So whether that be a lotion, a um, perfume, a fragrance mist, whatever it may be, go ahead and drop your scent of the day down in the comments so we can all know what you are wearing as well. And um, we have a few fragrances that are actually offered right now at SAS for a very, very low price. So um, we are just going to go ahead and get right into this. All right, guys, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. So with last Friday, so last Friday, I actually took like one of my favorites and did kind of like a little combo with it. And it turned out really, really, really good. So these two scents really complemented each other. And if you have these in your collection, I definitely recommend this combination. So I kind of just tried this on a whim. Like I thought these would go really good together and i wasn't quite sure but then when i did use them it was so so good so the fragrances that i used are these two right here these are both from bath and body works so this one is available right now this has become one of my favorite winter fragrances from this year so i actually picked up this one for the first time this year even though it was out last year and i fell in love with this one i wish i would have picked it up last year because i could have enjoyed it like that much longer but either way i am so happy it is in my collection now and i am definitely getting my use out of it i have been loving on this one so much so um this is strawberry snowflakes and it should be available at the SAS sale over there right now. I think it's like $4.95 or something. So the fragrance notes on this one are juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. So it's just a really juicy strawberry, like it's fresh juicy strawberries, almost a little bit syrupy. Then you definitely get like a light and fluffy whipped cream. It's not like a dense heavy whipped cream. It's really like a light and fluffy whipped cream. And then with that iced bergamot, it kind of just adds in like a different kind of element and makes it a little bit more icy. But this is such a great fragrance and I think this would be good throughout summer, spring, everything. Like this is definitely a great one. So yeah, it just smells so delicious. It's like juicy strawberries with that cream. I've told you guys before, it reminds me of those cream savers, those like strawberry and vanilla swirled hard candies that are like called cream savers. And it smells delicious. It's just a very creamy, nice, juicy strawberry. So I took this one and I actually did pair this with the lotion first. So I got my base of this strawberry snowflakes on. And then I went ahead and added like something to mix in with it. And the one I picked to mix with this one is Bubble Gum Pop. So this came out a few summers ago and I was actually fortunately gifted this one. So I am so thankful for that because I truly do love this scent and it smells so good with strawberry snowflakes. So if you guys have bubblegum pop in your collection and you have strawberry snowflakes, try them together and let me know what you think because to me it's like strawberry bubblegum. It is such a great fruity happy type scent the strawberry and the bubble gum like fruits just go together so well and it just was such a great combination so the fragrance notes on this bubble gum pop one are gumball sugar candied fruits and citrus burst so it definitely smells like pink bubble gum to me um yeah, it gives me pink bubblegum like all the way. So this is definitely like a strawberry bubblegum combo. It was a really, really good combo though. Definitely recommend. Let me know if you try it out. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you try this combo out and what you think of it. So we're going to jump into Saturday now. So Saturday I pulled out this little mini that I got 
somewhat recently from Bath & Body Works, and this one is Hot Cocoa and Cream. Um, I was kind of disappointed this one didn't come out in full size body care or even with a lotion. So what I've been trying to do is pair lotions or creams or body butters with this. So um, someone actually recommended to use vanilla sugar with this one and I did try that and it smells really, really good with the warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works. They really complement each other. And hot cocoa and cream, I do not have the fragrance notes on the back of this because they don't put them on the minis, but um, I think it's like decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows, but I will put the fragrance notes um, in case that is incorrect. But yeah, it's just like a very chocolatey, powdery smell. It's not super powdery, but it gives me that like cocoa powder type smell and feel. It's like... Um, it's kind of like, you know, when you make hot cocoa with that powder, that's kind of what this gives me. Like it kind of it smells like a powdery chocolate, which isn't bad at all. I really like this scent and I wish I could have gotten it in the full body care, but um, the full size body care. But, but I'm happy that they at least brought this out and I was able to get a mini. And so since I've been trying to pair it with like different lotions and different things. I was trying to think of one that might go well with this. So I did pull out this one right here and this is the Sweet Cream Body Butter from Tree Hut. This was a limited edition. I don't think it's available anymore but this is such a nice creamy sugary scent. So it's super creamy and then it does have like a sugary type smell to it as well. This one smells so delicious. I hope you guys got your hands on this one when it was out because this is seriously, I think one of my favorite body creams from Tree Hut and probably just like my favorite body cream in general right now because it just smells so delicious. Tree Hut products always do their thing. I'm never sensitive to them. So I went ahead and mixed this like really creamy, sweet scent with the hot cocoa and cream and it smelled really, really good. Like I liked it a lot. It was kind of just like a very creamy, sweet, hot chocolate type scent and they did go together very well. So yeah, I did really like this combination. It smelled really good. I'm really glad I am able to get some like chocolate scents in my collection because before this, I really had no chocolate scents in my collection um or i might have had a few but like not straight on chocolate like they're mixed with other things which this one is mixed i guess with the cream but you mainly get like the hot cocoa so okay so now we're gonna go on to sunday so sunday i pulled out one of my favorites um this is another one of my favorites from this season that came out this year although this one has come out before so this one is dahlia so dahlia is such a nice fragrance. Um, I was kind of detoured about it because I wasn't sure if I really wanted this one since it had a floral component in it. A lot of florals can tend to give me headaches and different things like that. So I kind of stay away from florals. Um, it's not like I don't like how they smell, but it's just the fact that they tend to be a little bit stronger and they also tend to kind of be more sharp and give me headaches. So um, so yeah, I was hesitant about picking up this Dahlia one, but you guys said that it was so good. Like so many people said that this one was good and that I needed to pick this up. So that is what I did. So I went ahead and grabbed this one and the fragrance notes on Dahlia are Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. So this is such a great scent, guys. This is one of my favorites and I don't even really like florals that much but this is so good. It's not just like a traditional floral that you would think of like, I don't know, it's totally different. The floral is very, very soft in this. So the Dahlia petals kind of are like, they're very, very soft. Like they're in, it's in like a creamy kind of mixture. So it doesn't bother me as much, but, um, like I've had no issues with headaches or anything like that. It's like a really soft floral. And then when it's mixed with that pear, the praline musk and the whipped tonka bean, it just really does its thing. Like it blends together so well. I love when Bath & Body Works does like a really well blended fragrance like this. Like this is 
seriously one of my favorites like it grew on me so quick actually once I like first smelled it I actually liked this one so yeah so if you're scared off of florals um you might want to try this one still because or at least give it a sniff in store or whatever because um this is such a great creamy floral that is just sweet and gourmand like this is a gourmand floral to me but yeah it smells so delicious I love this one and I went ahead and paired it with the lotion that I have for Dahlia. I think that this one actually didn't go on sale for semi-annual sale. They did bring this one in in winter, but I don't know why it's not on sale. I guess they're probably keeping it. Um, this one could go on for a while and not just be like a winter scent. So yeah, I noticed that they didn't really price down the Dahlia, the You're the One, like those ones in the um in these like beveled bottles so i think they're going to keep them around for a while and not clear them out so it should be available online and in store though still but they might be like full price or um they're not going to be marked down to like the sale price i don't believe of like 75 percent off or anything like that or even 50 percent off okay so now we're going to jump to monday so on monday i pulled out this one this one actually I really like this one um and they are clearing this one out right now so this is from bath and body works this is among the clouds and it came out last spring so um yeah it was spring of 2023 and to me i kind of didn't want this one right away because it just seemed like a very basic scent and the fragrance notes on this one are wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds so it just sounds like a very vanilla scent which i like berries and I like vanilla and I think they mix really good together and the berries are like kind of a mixed berry and then the um the whipped vanilla clouds kind of just blends it a little bit and makes it like a little bit more toned down but you mainly get those berries like you mainly get a blast of those sweet a little bit tart mixed berries and then the vanilla is really in the background but i really like this one i like berry scents especially when they are like straight berry almost because they're just really pretty and they mix with my skin well and i enjoy them and they don't give me headaches so yeah this was a really good one i really like this one um but they are clearing this one out right now so the good news is that you can find this one probably online and in stores on Bath and Body Works and they're clearing it out for like either $4.95 or 75% off. I know that I saw it on there though and I even kind of thought maybe I should get some more but I am definitely a person that does not need backups because I have way too much products to get through as it is. I never get to any backups so I'm not going to get any backups or anything, but this is such a good scent. And if you have not tried it or you like berry and vanilla scents, definitely recommend to, you know, get your hands on this. And also if you really like this scent, you may want to stock up. Like if this is your one scent or something that you really love, now is the time to get it because it is going to be cleared out and then it's going to be gone. So um, definitely a good time to grab this one when the price is right. And I did use this one just with the lotion. So I did include this one. This was like one of my favorite releases of 2023. Um, I just really like this one. It's just really universal. Like you can really wear it any season, like spring, summer, winter, fall. It's just berries and vanilla. So it's really universal to me. And I just really like this scent. So I did get, have a bar soap of this one though, and I didn't care for the bar soap. It had like a weird note in it. So I'm not sure about that, but these both smell really good. Okay. So now we are going to move to, what are we on Tuesday? So Tuesday, I actually pulled out one from last year that I got. So this one is actually from Victoria's Secret. This one is Amaretto Fizz. It came out last year in winter. And this is such a unique scent to me. Like this is, it's very, very unique. So the back just says almond, coffee, orange blossom, pour it up. Because they don't usually include like all of the notes. They just have like kind of a saying on the back. So the front's really pretty. It has like these little um, kind of glittery marks on it. And I did end up using this with the lotion. And I think the lotions are actually prettier a lot of times than the fragrance mist and packaging. 
Um, this has like that glitter all over it and it's so pretty. It has like flowers and like these neutral color type flowers on it. But yeah, this is one that came out last year and it's very, very unique in my opinion. So it's like, this one's so weird. So you definitely get the orange flower in this one. And that almond is a little bit bitter. So it's kind of like a bitter orange flower almost, but then that amaretto comes in and it really like kind of takes over and it makes this kind of just a really nice fragrance. Like this is just such a unique and nice fragrance. Like I really love this one. It's hard for me to, to describe this one though. As far as like fizz, like how it's called amaretto fizz, I'm not really getting a whole lot of like bubbly or poppy or anything like that, but to me, it's just a really nice scent that just plays well with my skin and it just smells so delicious. Like it's not super creamy or anything like that, but it's like a little bit creamy. You can definitely get like a coffee, like a hint of coffee and then like mix with that orange flower and everything. It just makes us such a unique fragrance. So let me know what you guys think of Amaretto Fizz if you have tried it or if you have this one in your collection. To me, this is just a really hard one to describe, but I really truly do love this one. I think this one is best for probably fall and winter though. So that's why I'm pulling it out and trying to use some of it up because I really haven't used a whole lot of this one and it is a really nice scent. I just don't get around to using all of my stuff all the time. So definitely want to make a point to use it while I can. So yeah, this is definitely a very nice scent. It's kind of like a elevated scent to me. Like this is kind of, I don't know. It's almost like, It's just so hard to describe. So if you guys have smelled this, let me know what you guys think of this Amaretto Fizz. Um, I truly do like this one though. It is very good, very unique. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I pulled out this one. This one actually came out in 2023 as well. And I know that this one was pretty popular and I enjoy this one. It's not my favorite, but I do enjoy this one. So this one is Coco Paradise. And to me, this is a great coconut scent for the winter. So it's like almost like a luxurious type coconut scent. Like it almost makes you think of a resort or something. But to me, the deepness in this makes it kind of like a nighttime scent or a winter scent. So there's like a whole new depth in this coconut scent. Like it is not like fruity or happy or whatever. It's just like more of a luxury, like rich vibes. Like, um, it's just a really nice coconut scent, but it's more like a, a deep coconut scent. Like it's more sultry and sexy and, um, kind of seductive. So yeah, I definitely like this one for winter in the summer. I had a hard time using this one though. So I'm going to try to use it maybe more in spring when we still have some colder days and winter that we're in right now. So the fragrance notes on Coco Paradise are salted coconut manoi, sugared neroli, and bronzed sandalwood. So this one is a very unique scent to me as well, even though it has coconut in it. Um, a lot of coconuts are just totally different from each other. So this coconut scent kind of comes off a little bit clean and almost soap-like at first. And then it kind of goes into this like depth. Like you're getting that sandalwood in here. You're getting that depth in it. You almost get kind of like a sweet and salty vibe in this. I don't really get like a sunscreen vibe necessarily, but definitely like the coconut you can get the coconut and then that depth and the, like a sweet and salty but it's like a dark coconut like this is definitely 
a nice one for winter. Like I really enjoyed wearing this one the other day when I wore it in winter. But like when, like I said, when I tried to wear this one in summer, it was just a little bit too deep for my taste anyways. Um, you know, some people might like it a lot if you like, you know, deeper scents on your skin. But to me, it was just a little bit much in summer. But so I'm going to try to use more of this one now. And I did use this one with the body cream. I think the packaging on this one is pretty cute too. It's kind of like iridescent, but you probably can't tell from um, just looking at on ugh, just looking at it from the camera. Sorry, guys, I can't talk. But um, but yeah, so that's a really nice one. This one did come out in 2023 as well. And yeah, this I like this one a lot. It's just not my favorite favorite, but it's a really, really nice coconut scent. Okay, so now we are on to the last day, which is Thursday, which was yesterday. So yesterday I wore this one right here. This one is Bare Vanilla Candied, and this is by Victoria's Secret. So um, I actually didn't mention, I think they're clearing out Coco Paradise. Sorry guys to jump back, but um, just to let you guys know, I think they are clearing out Coco Paradise. And so you might be able to find this one on SAS too. Just wanted to put that out there in case you're like looking for it or, you know, if they discontinue it, then you might not see it anymore. So you might want to grab it now if you really loved that scent. So this Bare Vanilla Candy is the one that I used on Thursday, yesterday, and this one has grown on me quite a bit. So I originally thought it was kind of light, which it is kind of light, but I thought it was a little bit too light and... It smells good, but not really that much different than Bare Vanilla, like the regular one, except for the cashmere note, because this one is like Bare Vanilla kind of without the cashmere note. And then it says on the back, strawberry sprinkles, marshmallow flower, and nostalgic twist on Bare Vanilla. So I don't really get a whole lot of the strawberry. Um... But after wearing it a few more times, I kind of get where they're coming from with that strawberry because you can kind of smell it, but it is more of like a strawberry sprinkles. So it's like a really toned down, muted, like sugary strawberry. And like, it's not juicy at all. Like I don't get a juicy strawberry from this whatsoever. It's like more of a really light candied strawberry, like the sprinkles. And the majority of this is more of like a light fluffy vanilla fragrance, which I truly love. Like I've been loving this one. Um, they actually have this one on semi-annual sale for either $5.99 or $6.99 right now. So if you're interested or if you want backups or whatever, now is the time to go ahead and do that. But, but yeah, this one smells so good. I really like this one. At first I was kind of... Um, I was kind of like bummed out like it smelled too much like the bare vanilla and I was like why did I even get this but now after wearing it a few times it really is different than the bare vanilla it kind of has a little bit of that DNA but without that cashmere note and then it has a whole lot more fluffiness and like sugariness and lightness in this one. I think this one would also be a really good one to use in spring and possibly summer as well if you're like a vanilla lover because this is like a little bit lighter even though that this did come out in winter it's like more of a light fluffy vanilla in my opinion so yeah i love this one i really have been loving this one quite a bit if i didn't have so much stuff i would get like backups of this but I know this is going to take me forever to go through. I have regular bare vanilla and I have like some other bare vanilla flankers. So definitely don't need backups, but this is a really great fragrance. It really has grown on me. Um, I think this could be mixed with a ton of different other fragrances and perfumes and lotions. So definitely try this one out, smell it, give it a sniff. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think down below. So that pretty much wraps up what I wore this week. So yeah, if you have any comments about the fragrances or anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, I did actually try out this this week as well. So this is the Dove Peppermint Bark um, Bar Soap. So I actually finished off my sugar cookie ones. I got two sugar cookie 
bar soaps from Dove. And like I told you guys, the sugar cookie was kind of lacking. Like it was a very mild, sweet scent. It didn't give me like full blown sugar cookies or anything like that. Whereas um, this one I just tried this week, uh, the peppermint bark. And it's a little bit more scented than the sugar cookie one. Like you can smell it more. Like I can probably even still smell it. Yeah, I can still smell it like from in here. So there's definitely more like fragrance in this peppermint bark one. But um, once you like shower and everything and get out, the fragrance kind of dissipates anyways when you're just using like a bar soap. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal to me. But at the same time, it smelled really good when I was showering with it. Dove soaps always treat my skin really well. Like I usually don't have to worry when I'm using a Dove soap about any kind of like skin irritation or anything like that. Um, I do pretty well with them. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this peppermint bark one. And I was happy because it didn't give me that cooling sensation. So like if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I really dislike that like cooling feeling on your body. So like some products, if they're like very minty or peppermint or whatever, they'll give you kind of like a cooling sensation on your body or where you use it. And I really dislike that. Like I do not like that cooling feeling. I don't like it at all. Um, so I was really happy that this did not give me that cooling feeling. Like it was mixed with the chocolate. So it gave off kind of like um, what are those called? Those little peppermints, like the chocolate mint peppermints. I think they're like Andes or something, but, um, it smells pretty much like that to me. Like one of those peppermints. I definitely think it's a good one. Like I like this and I will definitely use both my bars. So definitely recommend if anyone has used the other one though, what was the other one? It was like pumpkin pie or something like that. So if you've used that one, let me know what you think of the pumpkin pie one because that is the only one I haven't tried now. And the sugar cookie one was only okay. This one's pretty good. But yeah, I'm not sure about the pumpkin pie one. Um, it almost seems like it's kind of past now. Like, I don't know if I want pumpkin in my routines. Now it's January. Like, this just seemed like a better choice. But yeah, let me know if you guys think that pumpkin pie one is really good. I might have to go pick that one up too. I don't know. Let me know, guys. But that is it for the week. Remember to leave your set of the day down in the comments because I would love to know what you're wearing. Um, also, if you have not subscribed and you enjoy content like this, I would definitely love to have you subscribe. I do these Fragrance Friday videos every single week. I also do a few more videos every single week as well. So yes, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.